I travel the road into my soul all the time. I dwell in possibility. A fairer house than crows, more numerous of windows superior for doors, of chambers as the cedars impregnable of eye, and for an everlasting roof, the gambrels of the sky. Emily Dickinson is somewhat of a rock star. She's very much in the news, very much um, ever present. Miss Dickinson? <laughs> I'm Farrell Marshall. No, you're Emily Dickinson. And I play Emily there Dickinson. There you go. I'm Todd Nielsen. I'm directing the production. Something about Emily is her passion. She lived to be 56 years old. In her life, she only published 10 poems, and no one knew who she was. Yet, she was committed to her passion and her craft, and she saw beauty in everything and was inspired to write about it. And she broke all the rules. Um, that was what was so fun. She had her own meter, her own rhymes. Um, and now, only after her death, did people realize what a true genius she was. Oh, you're writing your brother, I see. And who are you describing? Me. Oh, <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> G-E-N-I-U-S. Genius. Make a joyful noise. <gasps> Unto the Lord, all ye lands. <gasps> and come before his presence with singing. <gasps> singing, indeed. <laughs> Poor Reverend Leland. The, the images are so clear and so crisp and to be able to experience that and to find out sort of what was behind it. Her joys, her woes, the disappointments in her life, and how that impacted her poetry is an amazing thing to discover. I'm Estelle Campbell, and I'm the managing director at the Sierra Madre Playhouse, The Bell of Amherst. It is a show that is totally in keeping with our mission to celebrate the American experience, and it's particularly a moment in history when we need to be reminded of the uh, quiet strength of the American female. I thought that if he didn't see me as the stagecoach went behind the hill, that we'd never meet again. So it could be raining or snowing, but there I stood waiting for his last look through the little window in the coach. <laughs> because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me.